We're going to look up discussion. I'm going to react to some of them. I think, for me... Uh... Yeah, from my perspective... Yeah. Mine, uh... Discuss. Like, I think... Some of the... I'm going to find discuss. Um... Obito. I want to see what I think of this because let's be real. Um, Obito was a good character, but his mind was like a god hey, complex type shit. Like, oh, I'm gonna control what people um think and feel and all this shit, and I'm gonna put them in an illusion world. Like, how the fuck do you come up with that shit? I don't care what kind of criminal you are. That's like the weird, weirdest idea for a perfect world I ever heard. Put him in a in a illusion There's world. One character in the yeah. Naruto that's more polarizing than Sasuke is. Okay. Is Obito. Without a doubt. When interacting with Naruto, I rarely ever find a middle ground with Obito. Everybody either loves him to death or absolutely hates him. Given the I, I actually like him a little, but his attitude is... His character, I like I him totally kind of. He's okay, Ninja. Directed at him comes from, but I do think that this hate is misplaced. Yeah. Now, just like with Sasuke, my thoughts on Obito are based on my own personal interpretations of what he says yeah, and yeah. does. And I think he's one of the most psychologically complex characters in the entire series. Actually, that is very true. Like that Itachi is very... And Nagato. I also consider Obito one of my favorite examples of a tragic character. Just yeah. Period. But before I can get to the history, man. Should probably get to back his shit was fucked. First. So let's get into breaking down Obito as a character. I'll start with analyzing his various motivations throughout his life, as a change in aspirations or goals has often marked a significant character change for Obito as well. When he, the audience also receives a pretty decent, at least, he wanted level to become Hokage. I know that shit. Philosophy, as we learned that he's actually the first person to have said, Shinobi who break the rules may be scum, but Shinobi who abandon their friends are worse than scum. And we soon later learn that Obito seemingly gave his life to save Kakashi. Wow. Flashbacks of later is... chapters that Obito. There's some sad shit, yo. Prone to help people. And he yeah. Very hard to turn That's... away from anybody who's in need of he assistance. He fucks some shit up without even realizing it. old lady needing to be walked across the street or something like that. This paints a pretty decent picture of who Obito is as a person. Into a psychopath responsible for starting the fourth Shinobi world <laughs> war. He would do all of That's these true, terrible though. things. Be Thanks to Madara's actions, the Uchiha clan, even before the Nine Tails attack, wasn't really on good terms with the rest of the Leaf Village. Now, yeah. add on to this that <laughs> Obito's not very good at anything. He's not very bright, he's pretty clumsy, <laughs> and his stats in the data book are abysmal. Hopefully you're starting to see why not too many people would really want to associate with Obito. Yeah. He's pretty clearly a prime target for bullying, and may have ended up just as isolated as Yeah, Naruto bullying's was. not okay, and the poor, that is a good example of bullying. Ended up being his only three friends. Cause... Now, the next piece of this puzzle is when the third he... Shinobi world I don't get why you would bully a kid like that, you know, it makes no sense. Obito's it's no fucked up. Than 12, and he's fighting a worldwide war. Killing yeah, that's... he's never met before, and being forced to watch his comrades die right in front of him. He's yeah, that's no... You don't bully niggas like that. He's some pretty terrible things over yeah. the course of this war. By the time he's had half of his body crushed and he nearly dies, Obito is probably a bit more cynical and jaded than the series leads yeah. you to believe. Not he, quite he to seems the like a nice kid. Like Dang. Is, but he's still reasonably a pretty bad person. Now, a lot of people think that Obito seeing Rin die is the only thing that caused him to go No, it wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, it was the world. I just think <laughs> this was the straw that broke the camel's yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Now, they weren't in a committed relationship or anything like that, but Obito did still love her, so seeing his best yeah. friend Kakashi stab her through the heart with a chidori yeah, was kinda probably fucked. difficult to swallow. Again, <laughs> I don't think this on its own was enough to prompt Obito's character shift. I just think that in combination with everything else, not to mention some additional persuasion from Madara, seeing this was enough to cause a major paradigm shift in yeah. Obito's mind. I think life constantly kicking Obito while he was down caused his idolism to slowly erode away, but this event yeah. right here was enough to make it shatter. I can Obviously, see that. such a massive change in philosophy is going to cause a person's long-term goals to change, but there are a lot of people who seem to be misinformed about what this meant for Obito. One benevolence. Now we need to take a look at all of the bad things within it, making it impossible for him to did in order to rationalize logic as Nagato did. He viewed every crime he committed as a necessary sacrifice to achieve the greater good. Now his wow. personality and attitude towards the world and those in it may make this seem very hard <laughs> to believe. As many of the things he says are filled with sarcasm, he many times comes off as very arrogant, and he has a habit of finding <laughs> humor in the most morbid of places. Yeah, that's... But I don't think this comes from malevolence, I think it comes from detachment. He even yeah. explains to Kakashi, albeit a little clumsily and cryptically, that he views the current reality as worthless, and he doesn't care about anything that happens within it, making it impossible for him to feel sympathy for any of the people who his actions affect. He doesn't care about receiving 
validation for his actions from other people. And this is made no more evident than in the final arc after... Yeah, the that's a sad twist product. for someone as cool as him. He was a good ninja until that shit happened. As a lot of people have a problem with Naruto talk no jutsuing Obito onto the good side yeah. and all of Obito's sins being forgiven. A massive misconception yeah, among it's people regarding this character but change is that Obito seems to think yeah, he's a good person he's not after not. fighting alongside the He's okay character. in my eyes, but most people wouldn't think Obito he's cool. Well aware that he's I think he's good, but... By this point and that he has crossed the moral event horizon many, many, many times over. Yeah. And I think this conflict of ideals presented by Naruto is... I know, I'm just watching something. I'll be done in a minute, Trish Panetta. I have you on a quarter, so just give me two seconds. No, I just need to... Not to mention, detaching himself from the rest of the world in order to become its messiah allowed yeah. him to run away from all of his problems. That's true, though. He, he avoided his problems. Alright, end of stream. And whether he was...